Hey everyone, welcome back. And today I am going to be building a base. So the game kind of makes it feel like you have to build a base on the planet you're on right now. You don't. You can fly up into space and go looking at the other planets and find one of those you like. But I'm on a paradise planet right now, so I'm going to build here. But I don't want to build right here. So I'm just going to take off and search around. Going to head south again. And one thing you can do while you're in your ship is you can hit C and scan. You can see it comes up with an unknown building right there. And it's not really a building, it's just a place. Oh, and we have red water. We have orange trees, green grass, and red water. We can pretty much build wherever we want on this planet. But there is a place that I am specifically looking for. And if I can find that, it's gonna be one of those minor settlements like I landed on last episode. If I can find one on this planet, that is definitely where I'll put my base. So I've been flying around for a little while and I've not been able to find what I want. So the next best thing I believe is just gonna be by the water. I guess I'll land right here. Oh, I did see something that's gonna, not, gonna be kind of nice. Those things right over there. It's your ancient data structures. Oh, so look at all these. Oh, this is a lot of them. So you just come over here and hold down E and you take the little red thing on top. It's gonna get all of these things and you get a big red, or a big lens flare when you do this. So I think I got them all. Let's see what all I got. Drop pod coordinate data. That's going to come in helpful pretty soon. And I got a bunch of navigation data. That is also going to be very helpful very soon. Been running around and I think I'm going to put my base here on top of this little hill overlooking the ocean. What I need to do is put this thing down. Load it up with some fuel, some, uh, let's not do the carbon. Let's do the condensed carbon. And then we're gonna throw in our copper. That's gonna take over a minute now. So what I'm gonna do while that's going is I'm going to shoot some rocks for some ferrite dust and shoot some trees. Well, it looks like this thing is done. So gonna go ahead and pull out this chromatic metal. And now we can build our base computer. I'm just gonna stick it, I'm gonna stick it down here behind this. There we go, now we need to register the land. So you have to go to the base computer and hit E. And this is just gonna say it's searching the archives and stuff and all oh, this land hasn't been claimed so we can claim our base. Now the base computer's online and it wants us to go back to it and hit E on there again. And what this is going to do is give us plans to be able to start building our base. So just extract the plans and we can build all of this stuff right now. That's why I went out and shot some trees because I'm going to need some carbon to build all this timber stuff. Now, as soon as I start building this thing, there is going to be a storm come along. So you kind of need to be quick on it. So a floor. Boom. and it tells me there I can build 39 38 you can kind of see that uh, over on the right side then go back one and let's build some walls and I can build 11 of these 
Now, this is not going to be your final base. You're probably going to find another place in the game to build one. So what this looks like does not really matter. Just go around, and then you can use the roof. See, that needs ferrite dust and carbon. So does that one. And the floors you can use as a roof, too. And they only use carbon. And just place all those up there. Can be a little wonky. There's that one. And come on, get in there. There we go. Now the storm's going on and it is not hurting us. So this is our first base and I'm just going to go ahead and run out and do this have the storm going on but while we're in here talking to the base computer the storm's not going to hurt us and so what this is going to do is give us some more plans and let's see it's telling us to go get some salvage data which if you did what I said you got that last episode so you're going to extract the plans and now that is a construction research unit and I need to make some magnetized ferrite. So if I can get in here, I'm going to just go ahead and place this thing back down. Go and put some, probably the condensed carbon and some ferrite dust. Well, I've got some pure ferrite. I'm going to hit C and that's going to split it in half. I don't remember how much I need. Let's check real quick. I can go back into the construction menu. That's okay. That's going to give me 25 or 27. So I got that. Going to leave that thing there for now. See how that's splashing? That's when I was mining some rocks for ferrite. And I just analyze that and it gives me more ferrite dust. And I can analyze these things too. So now what I need to do is make a carbon nanotube. And now I can construct this the little uh, construction research unit. Now as soon as I do this, there's going to be another storm. So I always like to put this right by the door. See, there we go, another storm. And now if we come over here... So this is the construction unit. This is going to give us plans for other things. And what it wants us to get is see, we have the 10 salvage data. We spend that to get this stuff. We need this thing. So we need sodium. I've got a bunch of that. Carbon nanotubes, got a bunch of carbon and some metal plating. Hopefully I have enough ferrite dust. And it wants us to get this biofuel reactor. Metal plating, oxygen, I think I'm good on that stuff. The electric wire, which is zero. And you don't need anything to make this stuff. Now that's all it wants us to get. See, if I had 11 more, I could get the battery and the solar panel. But I didn't get enough. So those are the things that the game wants you to get right now. So next time I am going to build that teleporter and I'm going to build the biofuel reactor and all of that stuff.